My name is Teresa, and this is a video about human performance and learning. When we investigate an event, we always get one of two outcomes. We change something, or we reinforce the existing system to stay the same. Change is a result of true learning. So let's take a look at how we enable learning, not just in our investigations, but in our organizations and our people. I'd suggest curiosity is a necessary precondition for learning, and it's really just caring. I used to think it was natural that we were interested in what we were interested in and that was that. I've changed my mind on that now. I know my Triceratops from my Taurosaurus because I care about my kids and I'm interested in what draws them, but I don't really care about dinosaurs. Likewise at work, I care about the people I work with and I'm fascinated by what draws their interest, time and attention. Good leaders care and that builds an almost infinite capacity for learning about almost any subject. When it comes to safety, investigations motivated by curiosity and underpinned by care for people can create real learning. And these motives are evident in how we behave and handle the people and information entrusted to us, and they create psychological safety, also known as trust. Trust that we will be treated with empathy, with the intent to nurture, and without judgment. So let's look at how to create an organization that learns. Often, first reports of an incident can cause us to have a gut reaction, usually a swift move to blame a person, a function, or an external factor. While this is a very human response, we need to have the commitment to learning to park this feeling and to contain our reaction. Only by wrestling that urge to find a swift and easy resolution can we really open up the opportunity to make important change. We need to commit to getting into the messy details of how the work gets done, and where the system supported, encouraged, or enabled the person to make the error. Systems are complicated and hard. It can be too easy to vilify the person to save the system. Learning doesn't happen when we vilify the person. Never look for who did what. Always look for what did what. As the investigation unfolds, your goal is to understand why it made sense to do what they did. Because it might not be an anomaly of a bad egg or a careless individual. Why might it make sense to others to do the same thing? By suspending judgment and looking deep within the system to find the causes of incidents, we start to unravel the fabric that allowed that incident to occur. But more importantly, we create an organization that looks for errors, that doesn't just admit when something goes wrong, but celebrates and shares finding and fixing flaws, and that makes the whole point of learning to be about co-creating a safer system not about weeding out the people who can't consistently avoid the cracks in the existing one. Learning is harder than being right, it's harder than blame. And when we fail to learn from events because we get tired of seeking truth, or we want a simple fast answer, we actually send the signal that we want the flaws that exist to stay. That signal of upholding an unjust, flawed system and implying that workers must avoid the flaws or they'll be punished is actually the most dangerous human error we can make as leaders. Learning is hard. It will involve us being frustrated, being wrong, and feeling like we have failed. But we can learn to love learning by rebranding ourselves as expert learners, people who are frequently wrong for the joy of finding real truth. When our beliefs are challenged or overturned, we can decide to stand beside that challenge and analyze why we might be wrong and why we might feel so threatened. People everywhere help create safety. Imperfect people, learning imperfectly, committed to change, create safety.